Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Life as Danny. I'm super excited to have you here today. Hopefully, you decide to stick around and subscribe. So I have three books, well, four, but three books that I finished, one that I just started. Um, so four books to talk about. Um, I realized that I haven't been making any book-related videos. Anyways, let's get into the books. So I'm not too sure if I shared Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I finished it. Now, there's so much hype around this book. And to be honest, I don't understand why. Um, it was an okay book. Like, I wouldn't shove this book down someone's throat and be like, you need to read it, you need to read it, go buy it, you need to read it, or anything like that. I really liked how it went from present to past. I really enjoyed um, hearing you know the parents meeting and things like that I really it really upset me that the kid's father was a cheater he was just a horrible horrible man um and then the kids grow up and then same thing happens with the oldest uh sibling she has a horrible man but it's it's okay I just felt like it was dragging on and I just couldn't wait for it to end so I would definitely have to rate this a 6 out of 10. It wasn't it wasn't it for me. It just it was an okay? So that's what I have to say about this book. Um but it does it all is based in Los Angeles, California, which is where I'm from. Duh, I got it tatted on my neck. But okay. Moving on. So this next book is by the same author and it's called Carrie Soto is back. So it's part two to this one. Um Nina, the oldest sibling the oldest daughter um marries a guy and he leaves her for another woman named carrie carrie i'm sorry she's a tennis player and he's a tennis player too is his name brandon yeah his name is brandon brandon is a tennis player too and he meets carrie falls in love with her and then just decides she's a bitch tries to go back to nina doesn't work out but this is the part two um and this book is so much better like it just was so interesting to me. It talks all about tennis. Um, her dad is her coach. And um, I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to be careful with what I say. But it just, talks, it just talks so much about tennis. And I don't even care about tennis. I've never even watched a tennis game. I don't even know anything about tennis. But this book was so interesting. And I really, really enjoyed it. In the beginning, it was a little bit slow. But then when you get through it, it's just like... It's such a good book so um i really really enjoyed this book and i give it a 10 out of 10 i definitely recommend you pick this book up you have to obviously read malibu rising first which and eh. if you guys have read malibu rising let me know your thoughts on the book but anyways i really think you should read this book it's definitely a good one next i have november 9th by colleen hoover and this book is not overrated i'm telling you right now it's definitely worth the hype i give it 11 out of 10 so you have ben and fallon it's a crazy storyline um, i definitely didn't expect that coming and i was really upset at ben when i read what i read um, but then you just can't be mad at him because the love he has for her is indescribable. It's a beautiful, crazy, sweet story. And I just really, really love this book so much. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy that I read it. So that's all I have to say about it. Great, great, great. So book. now that I talked about the books that I recently read and I rated them, now I'm going to talk about the book I'm currently reading and then two other books that I picked out. So I'm currently reading Local Women Missing by Mary Kubica. Kubica. Um, I hope I pronounced it correctly. But, okay. So I... When I started reading this book last night, literally my anxiety had anxiety. It was like, to start off with, it was pretty like intense. Um, but this is a psychological thriller. It's definitely more spooky, dark and twisted, and very, very mysterious. Um, I read a little bit online. I read some spoilers, which I'm not mad about because I probably would have been very confused to start off with. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna spoil it just a little bit because a few girls have messaged me and asked me like what is it about? Like they say it looks interesting and girl it is very interesting. It's very like what is happening? Um, so just a little bit of a spoiler. Meredith, Delilah, and Leo, they're all a family. Meredith is the mother, Delilah is her daughter, and Leo is the youngest son, and her husband is Josh. So Meredith goes missing, so does Delilah and spoiler alert their neighbors Bea and Kate they're a couple and they're very close with Josh and Meredith but Bea comes home one night I guess intoxicated and she's driving well drunk driving and kills Meredith and she happens to be with her daughter Delilah and I guess just so Delilah doesn't go home snitching that Bea killed her mother she um abducts her and keeps her in her it's like a little um a garage with the attic up top it's all soundproof and she just keeps Delilah there just so she doesn't get caught because she killed her mother so basically yeah it's very twisted but there's other women going missing and it's just very freaky and just just a whole mess it's a great story and I'm reading going through it very quickly I feel like I might finish this by tomorrow today's Thursday I might finish it Friday or maybe Saturday but I'm definitely flying through this so it's good it's definitely good so sorry I spoiled it for you guys but um you should get your hands on it and read it the next two books are spooky as well perfect for the fall you know season upcoming Halloween just I was just craving those thriller, those scary, spooky books. Um, the next one that I have is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. And again, just a scary read, so I'm excited to read this. I know nothing about it, and I probably want to go into this book blindly. Not like this one where I read some stuff about it, but I'll probably go into this book very blindly. And yes, the very last one that I have is by B.A. Paris. It's called Behind Closed Doors, another psychological thriller, twisted, scary book. So can't wait to read all three of them. And yeah, that's currently what I'm reading and the next two books that I'm gonna read. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out this book talk video right here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more book talk content, more makeup content. If that's what you're into, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you lovelies in my next video. Bye!